It's one of the best-known smartphone apps out there, and it's finally come to Windows Phone. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is a quick look at Pandora on Windows Phone 8. The Windows Phone version of Pandora was announced just today by Microsoft, who said they're rewarding our patience. And yes, it has been a long wait. We're testing it on a Nokia Lumia 920 here, and the first thing you notice when you fire up the app is that the recent stations screen is the first thing you land on, and it is arranged in a very Windows Phone-style arrangement. There are these live tile-looking representations of your stations that you've recently listened to. Tapping on any one of them brings you into that station and starts playing a random track. If you've used Pandora on other platforms, this experience is much the same. You can tap on the menu expander for additional options like sharing the station, sharing the track, buying the track on Xbox Music, and so on. A couple features missing in here are lyric support and artist biographies, uh, or we couldn't find them in this quick look, but uh, we expect they'll come in a future update. Another nice thing about the recent stations list is you can long tap on any of them to pin it directly to the home screen. So instead of just tapping on the Pandora tile, you can tap directly on a station to start playback if you have some favorite stations. One of the nice things about Windows Phone 8. Also, you'll notice the double-wide Pandora tile up top. We can adjust that in size, but it does provide a whole lot of pixels if you do want the phone to display the track information of the song you're listening to. Swiping around the UI, you'll find all the traditional Pandora elements. You can search for particular artists and start playback based on what you found. You can also just find a list of genre stations. And if you hop into settings, you can manage things like fidelity, parental controls, and Pandora 1 status. On our Nokia Lumia 920 here, we have confirmed that this is Pandora 1 for free. Pandora appearing to keep their promise and providing us with commercial free listening for a year. That's us in terms of Windows Phone users only. Definitely a very nice reward for our patience. In our short time with the new app this morning, we found performance to be excellent, on par with many other professionally designed Windows Phone apps. Responsiveness is wonderful, layout is intuitive, and playback sounds very good even over a cellular network. Now, Pandora is free to download, but keep in mind the company's recent announcement that it's going to limit mobile listening to 40 hours per month. That shouldn't affect many of you, but you should keep it in mind if you're obsessed with listening to mobile music. For more on Pandora for Windows Phone 8, including its interaction with Kids Corner and some other features we didn't get to in this quick look, download the app yourself on the Windows Store and stay tuned for more coverage. Like we say, Pandora is available to download in the Windows Store, so if you have a Windows Phone, go get it. Also, follow us at all the usual places, subscribe here on YouTube if you like the video, and stay tuned for more from Pocket Now. I'm Michael Fisher. Thanks for watching.